Okay, this is Todd with RV Sprinter Rental. I'm going to give you a quick orientation of this Coachman CrossFit Class B. Come on in. Down here you have a light switch. You can turn them all on. Awning light, porch light, ceiling lights, gallery lights, all on, all off. So we'll turn on some lights first. Up here inside the door is the main control panel. You have a water pump here. You turn that on for your water. You want to leave that off while you're driving. This is another on. It looks like an awning light. This is the awning power. If you want to run the awning, you turn on the power and then you just put ex awning extended. And I have to hold it down. It should start going out. Your levels for all your tanks here, so propane, your battery is full, your fresh water is full, your black or toilet water is empty, and your gray water, that one's up a little, we'll have to drain that one a little. But what you want to watch is your fresh water as you're camping, you don't want to use all your fresh water in one day, so you want to check this every once in a while to check the height on your fresh water. Here's a generator if you need it, you just hold the button down, it starts, probably takes about 30 seconds. Before you make power and you'll know it's powers on because the uh, microwave will come on that's when you're making power you need that to run the microwave and to run this rooftop air conditioner that's the only time you or for some there are some power outlets throughout the place that you can use if you want to use while we're waiting i guess we can look at the refrigerator's got a lock here it's an electric refrigerator you turn it on right here that's off that's on you turn it that way and then it's actually got a uh this one's pretty nice, it's got a little freezer in the bottom. Okay, your microwave came on, that means we're making power. I can show you the air conditioner. You turn the air conditioner on right here. Cool snowflake, you can hear it. And you just put it on cool, on the blue one on cool, there's fast or low. But you have to have the generator on or have shore power in order to use that. So I'm gonna turn it back off. Off, and I'm gonna turn the generator off. Just hit the button, stop. It has a solar panel on top, always charging your batteries. This is about the trickiest part of this Coachman. It's got a really, uh, uh, a new type of uh, water heater and uh, what you call a cabin heater. So you hit the button on it and you can see here, the first thing we see, that's a thermometer inside the cabin. That's your heater for inside. So you see that, you, when it's flashing, you hit it it's off now, you can set the temperature now, 40, 50, boom, and it's a real quiet, really nice, efficient heater. Now when you're done, you switch it all the way to off like that. Push the button again. If you want a water heater, you go over here, that's the water thermometer with the water, boom. It's off now, echo mode, hot, boost, where you can boost it quickly, those are your three choices, or back off. Now, the third one over here, we can either turn on, we're on a gas water heater, or you can mix electric and gas, or you can just go with an electric water heater. Either one. If you're the only way you can use an electric one is if you had hookups at a campground, you don't want to use your propane. So we're gonna leave it on gas for now. And that's pretty much it for that one. Again, you can turn on some more lights, your dinette, some reading lights, some mood lights. Oops, all on. Did they come on? Yeah, those are all on now. And then the mood lights up there. Your TV has an amplifier right here. You hit that button and see the green light for the amplifier. And then the remote will be up in here. And you would just turn on your TV. And there's a DVD player up there. And then here it comes on. And you would just go to your menu if you wanted to, or you could go to setup. Looks like it's already there. It's already set up, but you go to set up, search for channels, and you can search for channels with the antenna and you find channels. You can run the DVD player too as well, running down the road and watch a movie. Just switch to the HDMI one for that. I'm going to turn off the amp. Back under here is actually your sofa switch. See this, your bed? Up, down. So if I push down, my bed's coming down all the way. Now your bed's flat. I'm going to go outside and grab the table to make you could leave it this way with two split beds or one large bed. Let me go grab the tables outside. Let's see the post for it. Can you see the post? It's 
this is your your planks to make your bed larger. Just set them in here in these pads. Like that. And then here's another one. This is your table. And then you roll your pads across. And now you have a complete bed. Show that. And up in here is your table leg with a key. Goes into the slot here. Tighten that up. And then you can set your table here and rotate it either direction. Here's your stove top. Turn it to light. Push the button down, hit the sparker. There we go, it lit up. Oops. There we go. And then turn it to off. Um, and then here's the bathroom. There's your bathroom. This door opens as well, yeah. And a shower curtain. And we include, it comes with the uh, toilet paper. It's a special uh, RV toilet paper, so you want to use the toilet paper that comes with it. And there are some chemicals that you can drop into the toilet if it smells at all. Under here you have, uh, you got your water hose and we keep them tied together to keep the water clean and you have your electrical out here if you're at a campground. So if you do run out of water, you have a fresh water fill. The other one's city water, so fresh water. The bottom one, you'd hook your hose up to here and then you could fill your tank. Once the tank's full, it will overflow. It comes full of water when you rent it, but if you run out during your t and you go to a campground, you could refill your water. You fill, it'll overflow onto the ground when it's full. That's all you need. If you want city water continuously, you could hook up to the top one and you'll have continuous water with the hose. There's also this 30 amp electrical connector. You just plug this yellow cord into here and this will be at your campground. And usually they're a 30 amp, usually. When you plug that into the at the campground, if they don't have 30, only 20 amps, you can plug this one in as an adapter. That's it for the outside. We dump the tanks as part of the prep package that you paid for. So you don't have to dump the tanks when you come back. But if you're on a long trip, you might fill up your tanks. So there's an extra drain hose down here. And you pull out this drain hose. And you come over here, you have to look underneath. You pull off your cap. Put your drain hose on right here and then you're going to pull there's a black valve here you pull your black valve first and then you're going to and let it drain and then you pull your gray valve over here you pull that second and that and you drain it out you don't have to deal that we'll deal with it when you come back but if you do fill it up and you want to drain it you're you can drain it on your long trips okay Thanks again for watching this. I hope everything was clear. Again, you have my, my cell phone 24-7. You can give me a call if there's any technical issues that I didn't cover in this video. Also, this, you can get this video on YouTube or we have a hard copy of the DVD in the DVD player in the RV that you're in.